Hello, it's Nikki and welcome to my Frost Shoe channel, all about cross stitch. And here we are at the end of November, it's the 30th of November today, and just thought I'd do an update of the stitching that I got done in November. I'll finish off recording it tomorrow because at the moment we've still got the evening left and I'm working on a little light reading so haven't quite finished for the month but uh, yeah it's been a productive month for some projects and uh, well let's see where we are so first I'm going to start off with my 30 minutes in the morning small piece and this is All the Hills Echo all the Hills Echoed from Blackbird, De Blackbird Designs. It's part four of the For the Birds series. It's my fourth one that I finished. I'm working through them in order. And there's a lot of stitching in this one. It took a little bit of time to do, especially the lovely checkerboard house. And uh, yeah, lots of birds in this one, including the fabulous peacock there. So. I just stitch on this in the mornings before I start work, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the most. And it took a while to do, it's a deceptive amount of stitches in there. Now, most of November has actually been taken up with one project. And that is uh, Death Head Moth, which you may have seen, because I've posted it everywhere. I finished it and oh, I haven't got any oh, out of eh. I haven't got everything far enough away from me uh, this is what happens when you rush to get set up so there we have it Death Head Moth from Gecko Rouge and I started this piece Towards the end of 2019, possibly at the start, very start of 2020, and I was stitching on it during my lunch break at work. And if I started it, it would have been either late November, December time, or January. So I would just have. Well, what with having lunch as well, about 45 minutes a day, wait, a week day on this. And then this was a pandemic piece. I'd just got it started and about March 2020, we were told to work from home. And I've mostly worked from home since then. So the day we left the office, I... I was in two minds about whether to grab it and bring it home or just leave it there. I didn't think that we wouldn't be in the office for 18 months. So I brought it home, but I didn't stitch it for a while because I had other projects that I was doing at home. And those are the small projects I was kind of doing during my lunch break, so I didn't really make any time for this. And obviously pandemic dragged on. And then decided that, oh, I might as well get it out and stitch it. And I think during, during that time, Pattern Keeper had come out. I was able to import it into Pattern Keeper. Managed, I got the, the thread list. Well, not the thread list with the actual numbers, but, you know, the, the thread card. So you can you kind of double import it into Pattern Keeper and it puts the colours in fills out the colours, your numbers are still listed, one, two, whatever. I can't remember how many colours are in this one. And I think the first time I imported it, there were a few symbols that it couldn't differentiate between, but I had a way around that, I was able to work around it. And then, then there was an update and I re-imported it, and it picked up all the colours, no duplicates. So that was 
that was really handy. That sped it up even more because I didn't. There was about six colours. I had to double check what the the number was for that symbol. So I think I was kind of up here somewhere. So I have got a lot of it done. I have done most of it at home, and I didn't bring my numbers with me to see how many stitches I've got done. But um, this rotation, I was. Just finishing off page down here, this this page, and this one was the last full page of the project, and I got that done, then I got this page done, and I think by the time I got down here, I, I was planning to spend 21 days on this, and I had about 15,000 stitches well, just over 15,000 stitches to do. So normally in the three weeks, I can do 10,000 stitches, or, or just over. It does depend on confetti and things like that. But about 10,000 stitches is what I would normally get done. So I got down to here, and I was still within the 21 days. I thought, I'm going to work mostly on this throughout the day. Um, I had some, a couple of days holiday. I'd normally do morning on bookshelf or nightmare and then I would work on the moth. Uh, weekends, I would normally work on nightmare and then work on moth downstairs. But no, I was just working on the moth, so every spare moment that I had, I worked on this. And I got it finished on the 21st. So this, I still spent the same number of days as I was planning to spend on it, but I actually got it finished. Now, I was expecting that I would get it finished at the beginning of next year, so... That's one, one less finish that I'll have next year. But it's actually three fullish, full coverage pieces that I've finished this year. And I think after I finished Just Be, the first of them, I I toyed with the idea of being a monogamous stitcher. And uh, Shaz, or Sharon from Shaz Stitch Cook said to me, if you go in monogamous, I reckon you could get two more finishes this year. And I've managed it. I really didn't think I could do it. I haven't been monogamous stitching. But I really did not think that I would have three finishes this year. And it's really exciting because now I am I'm at my total. And I've whipped down to the four full coverage pieces for the evening rotations. I've got more than that because of... Uh, lunchtime and my weekend morning piece but I'm there I have really managed to to break the back of some of these whips and I feel so much happier for it I'm not going to go and start loads of things <laughs> I'd like to but I when I had a lot more whips than I do now you know, I had, how many have I finished recently? I've finished about five or six in the last couple of years. And it's been a nice feeling to get them done. When I had so many, I didn't know what to work on. I was torn always because everything I started, I want to stitch. And I want to see it finished because who wouldn't want to see this finished? It's gorgeous those colors I'm definitely a blue green stitcher my they are my colors um so so it's it's great to be down to to a level where I feel that I can give everything that I've got started the attention that I want to give it and I just feel so much more at peace with my <laughs> stitching now um 
so I'll go through my plans for next year in another video later on in December because this is a November update but November has finished with another finish and yay it's lovely I I still got some other pieces to frame that I have frames for but I can't wait to get a frame for this and get this in a frame I think I know where I'm going to put it as well it's so nice Ah, yes, yeah, so that is, was Death Head Moth that needs a wash, obviously, get those lines out. So, now we get on to the pieces that have lacked a bit of attention in November, because <laughs> I need to get that done. I don't know what it, when I get close to finish, when I feel that I can get something finished, I just become obsessed with it. And in my rotation video, I talked about changing the rotation to suit your needs and for the, the month I haven't done my rotation as I would have normally I haven't spent so much time on this I haven't spent so much time on nightmare but once once I get the bit between my teeth with seeing that finishing line I want to get there so bizarre bookshelf now I had a look at where I was at the start of the month and I was over on this book so I have got quite a bit done um, actually I do have the numbers for this one 2,257 stitches so I've made some progress I'm very close to finishing this page uh, I've got to finish this book and there's a bit of a weird looking bird there to do and and I need to make the decision because I want to go and finish this page. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to go and do that shelf, but I want to get this page finished. To It would just make more sense in my head where I am with it. And I said I'm not going to work across the top, but I don't know. Part of me doesn't, some part of me doesn't, but I don't need to make that decision yet. I need to get this page finished and if I want to I can just go straight on there's another full page there to do before I reach the the bit that's broken up so not so much done but still progress still moving along and now I'm back into the natural swing of things I shall have time for this one but of course December being December um I have a few more days holiday from work to use up as well as the usual Christmas bank holidays uh, not not planning much at all for Christmas this year uh, I don't really f ever for any year I really do like to have a nice quiet at home very peaceful family Christmas <laughs> so I'm sure there'll be lots of time I'm We'll get this page finished in December. I'm sure I will. And actually that will be... I will have got all that done in the year. Great progress and it's a lovely project to stitch. I really enjoy it. How nightmare. Which is anything but. It is causing me a few hesitations with my rotation for next year because it's so much fun there are a lot of colour changes in this it is pretty heavy on switching colours confetti stitches I look at his sleeve of his jacket There's so much detail in it and I love it and I would like to spend more time on this one but I want to get unicorn finished I th I've got a lot of stitches to do on unicorn but I think I could probably get it finished next year if I put it onto a three week rotation but I'm just worried that it's not as fun to stitch as this but then this would still be my Saturday Sunday project so I'll get to work on it every week. Um, what have I done this month? It's mostly been this page here, 
Zero's finished. We have more of the snake. We've got Jack's sleeve. Eventually that will join up with his hand there. And we have the top of Sally's head. Now I'm just beginning to work in... Oops, bang the camera. Just beginning to work in some colours. There's, uh, I think there's Deadly Nightshade. But there, um, the, I think there's some roses in the hair to do. It's a very, very top of her head. That's where her parting is. So, uh, yeah, not far from a finish from, page finish from that. So that's another goal for December to get that page finish done. And then, again, this year I will have done everything apart from page one up there. So, huge amount of press progress on it this year it's so much fun getting the little zero you can see the pumpkin through him as well it's the details fantastic uh the this is a gecko rouge kit again it's working perfectly well with pattern keeper and really really fun so what I'm what I'm thinking I'm going to settle with is I'm going to have unicorn on three week rotation and then once that's finished pull this in in its place but I still got one more month left of this year and anything can change <laughs> so next year's plans are not yet set I do have a few brewing. So that's kind of, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to go pop back downstairs to my stitching corner and do a bit more on a little light reading and then I'll do an update on that tomorrow morning before I switch projects and then get this uploaded. Uh, December stitching, nightmare. Is our bookshelf again lunch times and weekend mornings and then uh, we're back on to trick or treat for three weeks and a stitch in time to finish off the year for the last week of the year or the last week and a few days yeah we're nearly at 2022 and I'm getting my planner ready for my challenges I'm just having so much fun with my sewing. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> but it's what keeps me happy and sane. So, yeah. I'll be back shortly with an update on a little light reading. Bye for now. And then back again. It's still November. I think calendars are still sealed. I've got a cross stitch on for December. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to doing, to uh, starting that. Um, but first, here is my stopping point on a little light reading from Heaven and Earth Designs. I had to think then what it was called, even though I've just typed it in twice. So, loads of progress this month. I have done 6,387 stitches. Uh, so, where were we? Uh, I was kind of at the bottom of his eye when I finished it last when I worked on it. I can't remember when that was. Uh, so, finished that page. And I think that's page 9. But I'm working this in the diagonal pages. Uh, I didn't want to have to do all of the cover across the top which is my nemesis colours pale beiges and creams and, and all that uh, boring I, I prefer these bright colours uh, so finished that page and then I went on to this page here I'd already done all this white when I stitched this page um, mostly because I didn't want to risk any lines from light colours, so I worked across 
the whole screen so that is all white you can see the grid lines through it but they'll wash out so I'd already done a good third of the page so uh, I was able to get this page done too so I uh, finished off dragon's claws um, and we're getting some tummy in there so after that diagonal again uh, so that is it's something like page 14 but it's my ninth page finish on this one and just started this page uh, what did we do finish off the blue patch I uh, got this brownie orange patch in and yeah now we're working on the big purple book uh, which is uh, one sh well there's the light purples but the cover is uh, one dark shade of purple, I think it's 550, uh, and then 823, very dark blue, and black, yeah, black, and dark browns, a couple of odd stitches in there, so it kind of gives it that, uh, it will end up looking like a big purple book. There's the pages of the book. So, yay, lots of stitching on this. Um, this one is, will be out in January. Uh, after I stitched on Unicorn. Unicorn's got quite a few areas of confetti in it. So, this one's quite a nice change to that. Because, yeah, this, I mean, it's, oops. You can see it's kind of made up of scattered stitches. There's a bit more solid of the purple down below. So, but it is quite blocky, really. It's not scattered stitches. So different to confetti, they're easily reachable, so you don't need to keep changing threads or anything. Um, and for some reason, I've started filling in all this dark blue. No idea why. I think I was just using up my thread ready to finish. So, yes, that's it. Um, very productive November for me, especially as I'm usually very busy in November. December, yeah, busy again. Well, who isn't? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make time for as much stitching as I can do. It would be good to finish off the year with another page finish or maybe two if I can um yeah we'll see uh, uh yeah that's I think that's it really so I'll be back at some point in December possibly to run through my plans for the year today I've planned out a quick whip go uh, for my small pieces as well so everything should be covered by some sort of challenge and so yeah I can go through some of those bits and pieces as well but uh, it wouldn't be much of a whip parade because there's not many of those left um, but yeah we can run through where I am on some things because if I've worked on Unicorn this year, it was right at the very beginning of the year. So it's been a while since it's been in any of these floss tubes. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a great November yourselves. And you're looking forward to December. And all of you doing challenges, that you're getting to the end of them, getting all your goals met. And starting to plan what you want to achieve next year um yeah that's it for me i'll see you in december but if not at the end of the month to to wrap up what i've managed to get done in december so again thank you for joining me and thank you for sharing my cross stitching with updates with me in 2021 and uh beginning to look forward to 2022 
hoping to get a lot more done. See you soon.